the Bosch Greentronic 7000T Hybrid Electric Water Heater is our most efficient storage water heater. In this video, we will show you how to install our new hybrid electric water heater fast and easy. Before starting with the installation, beware of a few things. Location and dimension. First, this product is for indoor installation only. The temperature should not drop below 37 degree Fahrenheit or exceed 109 degree Fahrenheit. Outside of that range, the heat pump will not be able to heat up the water and only the electric heating elements will be utilized. Space requirements for airflow. As the heat pump is extracting the heat from the surrounding area, enough airflow needs to be guaranteed. Therefore, the enclosed installation room should not be smaller than 700 cubic feet. Otherwise, consider changing doors to a louvered design or ducting the unit. Duct adapters are available from Bosch. Electrical. The water heater requires 240 volt, single phase from a 30 amp breaker, using a 10 gauge wire to make the connection. This is generally the same as any other electric storage water heater. However, check with your local codes and regulations. Condensation drain. Be aware that the unit produces condensate. The condensate needs to be drained. Make sure there is a drain close by, or install a condensate pump. Unpacking. The green tronic comes on a pallet and is covered with a cardboard box. Simply cut open the straps and pull off the carton box. Apart from the water heater itself, the product comes with an installation manual, pipe insulation material, and a half-inch condensate drain pipe. A brass T&P valve and drain valve comes pre-installed on the unit. Move the unit off the foam and pallet. We recommend using a hand truck, also known as a dolly, to move the product to its installation place placing the water heater. Before putting the water heater in its final place, make sure you have a drain pan. We recommend a 26 inch drain pan for the 50 gallon and a 30 inch for the 80 gallon. Place the water heater inside the pan and rotate the water heater so that all connections are accessible. Obey clearances for operation and service. Plumbing. Time to plumb the unit. The water connections are 3 quarter inch NPT and are on the side of the unit and marked with water outlet on top for the hot water and water inlet near the bottom for the cold water connection. Use pipe thread sealant to make a watertight connection. Use of a thermostatic valve may be required by local codes, but can also be an advantage to maximize the water heating capacity without creating scalding risks. Install the drain pipe to T&P valve. Make sure the drain pipe terminates to an approved location, maximum 6 inch above the ground or floor. Install condensate pipe by simply pushing on the supplied flexible drain pipe onto the connector. In this installation, we use a condensate pump to a drain, but other options could be to drain it directly to an accessible drain or directly to the outside. After all, piping connections are completed, open all hot water fixtures in the house, open shutoff valves on cold water inlet and hot water outlet to fill tank. As each hot water fixture delivers water free from air, it can be shut off. Check all pipe connections for leaks. Electrical. The unit requires a 240 volt 30 amp connection. Make sure the breaker is shut off. Install or reuse a 30 amp breaker at the electric panel and run the wire and conduit from a junction box or service disconnect to the water heater electrical panel. Open the electrical cover of the unit to reach the terminal block. We recommend removing the cover to the CTA port to have easier access to the terminal block. Open the knockout on the cover for the wires and pull the wires through, fasten the conduit. As a next step, make the connection to the terminal block. After wiring the unit, reinstall all covers prior to powering on the unit. Start of operation. Turn on the breaker to turn on the unit. Please proceed to set the unit for intended use and test its function. The unit can be fitted with an optional automatic leak shutoff kit. To install, ensure the unit is properly disconnected from power. Remove the lower heating element cover and save the installed gasket to reveal the two-wire connector for the water leak detection sensor and the wire connector for the automatic shutoff valve. Install the original gasket to the new element cover supplied in the kit. Then route the wires around the element to pass through the bottom of the new lower element cover provided in the kit. Install the new cover, ensuring the wires are routed properly. Install the automatic shutoff valve on or before the cold water inlet. Place the water leak detection sensor in a location where it would be able to detect a water leak, such as below the floodplain in the water heater base pan. The water leak detection sensor is a float-style switch. 
For more information on Bosch Home Comfort solutions, please visit bosch-homecomfort.us. Thank you for watching.